Now today, we have a really different kind of puppet for you. A super simple one to make, and one that has lots of room for creativity, and one that comes from things that are probably laying around your house. That probably come to your house just about every single day. And that is the envelope. Yes, not only can you use an envelope to send a letter, you can use an envelope to create a puppet. A and to show you why we have a couple for you right now, look, here they are. Hello. Hello there. Hello. Are you a bird puppet? Uh, I'm going yep. to assume that means yes. Yes. Okay. I'm going to try a different voice out because I don't know if I can do this one for very long. All right, you do that. Hey, M Puppet. Yeah, there you got any puppet. knock knock jokes? Uh, I might have a few knock knock jokes. Tell me a joke. Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Uh, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, who? What do you mean? You don't know who Abraham Lincoln is. <laughs> the 16th president. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> You're not very smart there. I didn't know that knock knock joke at all. You're welcome. <laughs> knock knock. I gotta admit, Em's puppet was pretty cool. She just made hers a few minutes ago, and uh, I thought there was some pretty great creativity in that. We did some digging around in the uh, tub full of stuff to find some odds and ends. But now let's say, you have an envelope around at home. How can we transform it into a puppet? Here's my finished envelope puppet. It looks Kind of like maybe a fish or a bird. Ah! Ah! They're an interesting puppet because uh, there's kind of half of it there. And so you uh, use your hand to manipulate it. I tend to find that if I put my pinky right there, it makes it a little bit easier to control. You take your envelope, and I find that smaller, squarer ones work a little easier than a, like, business size envelope. But you can absolutely use any kind of envelope. Open it up just a little bit like this. And then right in the middle of the bottom, push it in. And as it pushes in, the two points of the envelope come down. And all of a sudden, you have a puppet. Look at that. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Although this one's green, it is kind of Kermit the Frog esque. Rabbit, rabbit. Why are there so many songs about rainbows? The envelope puppet. Maybe an eye. I totally picked the wrong color for this. It's not very easy to see. Well, there's an eye for him. A little bit of a mouth. By coloring right along those edges. You might have that bag, jar, or box of buttons around the house. A button glued on would make a terrific eye. Like that. Could make some really cool teeth to go on your envelope puppet. Ooh, that would look really interesting. We found a googly eye, and we found a couple of spare feathers. I bet you 
can come up with all kinds of great ways to decorate your envelope puppets. And they make a great tool for telling knock-knock jokes. And I don't know nearly enough knock-knock jokes and other kinds of jokes. So I would love it if you would send in some pictures and some videos of your envelope puppets telling knock-knock jokes and other kinds of jokes. Because we could all use a few more jokes right now, right? Awesome. Well, I'll look forward to seeing those. And I'll talk to you later.